What's up YouTube? My name is Jaden Coble, Mix Customs. It's been a minute since we made a custom video, but we're getting back into it. So today we are going to be making a Justin Bieber, Drew House inspired fit. Justin Bieber has this brand called Drew House. It's a very cool looking brand, very high dollar, expensive hype beast as some would call it. But today we're going to be making a DIY homemade version of a Drew House fit. Drew House brand is very brown color based, yellow color based. They also make a lot of corduroy inspired clothing and stuff. So today we have these corduroy pants that I thrifted, I think for like four bucks. And we also have this pale yellow baggy tee that I also thrifted for like a buck 50. I'm gonna keep the arm length like very super baggy. And then I think I'm gonna crop this super boxy. Justin wears like Adam Sandler style clothes. In my opinion, no shade towards that. I think it's sick. But that's how we're gonna try to mock this up. It's kind of baggy, kind of streety, skating border type vibes. You know what we're trying to go for. All right, it kind of looks a little short, but might be able to make it work. On the bottom piece, if I cut a shirt, I like to stretch it. It gives it that like kind of rolled look a little bit, which is what I like. That's what I'm trying to go for. But overall, I'm kind of liking this shape. It's a uh, very boxy, very skater looking uh, style. I love boxy tees. I love the way that the sleeves are sitting. The shape might be actually perfect. So uh, yeah, for step two, Let's get on to the corduroys. For these pants, I needed to do a mock-up, so I went ahead and grabbed my iPad, my Apple Pencil, got to mocking up what design we're gonna put on these pants. And honestly, what I'm feeling is patchwork. I think if I do this patchwork design of yellows clashing onto the brown corduroy, it could turn out super sick. So we got the pants, but unfortunately for patchwork design, I'm gonna have to basically tear these things apart. All right, the pants are done. They've been stripped. We got basically just a bunch of fabric and the top half. I don't even have to touch that because it's basically perfect. So now we're gonna go in and uh, sew some patches. Day two, I'm not gonna lie, we finished the pants, at least the patchwork on the pants, and uh, I personally hate them. I'm gonna see what I can do to save them. This is what we're looking like. Um, yeah, it didn't give that raggedy look as much as I thought it would give. So we're gonna try to do some airbrushing, see if we can save these at all right now. Genuinely don't know if there's any saving, but as of right now, I don't even know if this video is gonna get posted because they're not looking too great. Let's see if we can save these things, or at least make something that's wearable, because right now these are uh, hideous. So uh, let's get into day two. This patch is done. It's already looking a little bit rougher, which I'm happy with because before it was not. It was really sketched. But oh yeah, that looks so much better already. We made all the stuff on the iPad, all the designs that we're gonna be printing out. Now it's time to connect the Cricut, print out all that iron on vinyl, and get to ironing the designs onto the patches. cut we got the negative already taken out all we gotta do is iron them on the patches we should be almost done with these pants I'm 
until I'm seeing different faces. I don't wanna talk about it, I wanna entertain it. And I'm disappearing out of motion, David Blaine. All right, we got the shirt cut. We added the Mixed Originals logo on there, but I'm not liking how it looks compared to the pants. This looks very simple and the pants look very crazy. So I went ahead, went to Walmart, picked up some RIT dye in a yellow color. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying the dye onto this just to make this look a little bit more tattered, worn, colored, to kind of match the essence of the pants. <laughs> Thinking about just doing splotches all around it. I was gonna do a tie-dye, but I don't really prefer tie-dye that much. So I think we're just gonna do some splotches, give it a worn and weathered look. I do recommend that if you ever are doing any type of dyeing or bleaching, that you do it in the woods or somewhere where it can't get on anything. Bleach, dye, doesn't ever come off. So you wanna do it somewhere completely safe. <laughs> guys the fit is done before we get into this reveal make sure y'all smash the subscribe button we're trying to get to 50k i don't know by when it's not really it's, it's going really slowly but try to smash that subscribe button hit the like button comment tell me what you want to see next and uh yeah let's get into this reveal guys that's it for today's video i hope you did enjoy let me know in the comments how y'all think this fit turned out we had some rough patches in the middle of the video but we got through it turned out to be a pretty wearable fit if i do say so myself only spent 15 dollars making it steals and deals baby come on now but uh yeah with all that being said i hope y'all like the video smash that subscribe button and we'll see y'all in the next video deuces <laughs>